because of the um, devastating economic downturn caused by the global COVID-19 pandemic, <laughs> including having children at home when they're supposed to be at school. But if you're anything like me, even before this health crisis, it was a struggle to find the money to buy, uh, to pay for expensive skincare that has effective yet outrageously priced ingredients in them. So lately I've been doing some research and today I wanted to show you something cheap and easy you can do uh, to make your existing skincare work a lot harder for you. So my name is Suvi Mahonen and I'm a journalist based here on the Gold Coast in Australia. And with the help of my beautiful daughter Amity, I'm going to show you how to add <laughs> the fantastically anti-aging peptide Progeline to whatever hyaluronic acid serum you already use at home. Here is all about the ingredients. Why am I so excited about a synthesized peptide called Progeline? Well, Progeline is a biomimetic peptide for a protein inhibitor called Elephant. Progeline has been shown in studies to inhibit a protein called progerin, which the body makes when there's a mutation in the lamina gene. Progerin causes cellular changes in skin cells, such as DNA damage, an increase in the, in the amount of reactive oxygen species, and histone modification. These changes are a major cause of aging in your skin, including sagging and wrinkles, and loss of firmness and elasticity, especially around the jowls and jawline. Progeline, however, can help prevent these changes by blocking the action of progerin, which is a phenomena that the cosmetics industry has obviously wanted to you exploit. Thankfully, however, you can buy progeline from selected manufacturers as a raw ingredient and incorporate it into your own skincare without forking out hundreds of dollars for an expensive brand's mixture. I purchased the progeline that we're going to be using today from um, an Australian company called New Directions Australia and I'll put a link to their website at the bottom of this video. Okay so here's the um, website that I bought the progeline that we'll be using off. So it's New Directions Australia and I bought 17 grams of progeline which you'll see in a moment and they suggest that optimum pH for efficacy of final product is about four to six and so that's why we're going to be adding it to a hyaluronic acid serum base. Um, dose for best effect is 0.2 to 2% and I'll show you exactly how we do that for a 30 ml bottle of hyaluronic acid. And this was what was very exciting when I looked at this. In their test protocol, when they actually tried a cream containing 2% progeline or a placebo on a split face and split neck two times a day for 56 days, you actually can see a little bit of a lifting. I mean, I was really excited when I saw that and I thought, well, you know, um, we can certainly do this ourselves at home and, um, and uh, let's go. I'll show you exactly how to okay. do it. Okay, here we are. We're um, about to show you exactly how to add um, this fantastic peptide to your um, hyaluronic acid serum. So this is what I ordered, this is what I got. It's um, Progeline 17 grams. Um, now this is um, fairly expensive on the outset. It's $66 for this amount. However, when you pair it with a hyaluronic acid serum, I'll show you how little you use and you'll be able to use what's in here to supercharge your hyaluronic acid serum many, many, many times over. So in the end, it's gonna end up being heaps cheaper than buying some expensive serum um, that hardly anybody can afford these days anyway. So um, we're going to be adding it to the hyaluronic acid serum I use, which is just the Ordinary brand. Um, so that's a really budget-friendly brand and I find that it works really well and it's got really good reviews from dermatologists. Um, so I consulted um, a cosmetic chemist um, to make this video, so all this information has been fact-checked. Um, and it's really fun to experiment. And the thing with Progeline is that it does like a slightly acidic base, so that's why we are adding it to our hyaluronic acid serum. And um, you can add this to an existing serum with peptides in it. So. If you, um, I do want to urge a little bit of caution though that if you're going to do this yourself at home um, just do some research um, make sure you know what you're doing and obviously if you get any irritation from your skin once you start using one of your mixtures then obviously stop using it immediately and um, see your doctor but um, 
So progeline, what we're going to do, be doing is putting it into this hyaluronic acid. Because it likes a slightly acidic environment like we explained um, on the website, um, you, so you can actually add this product to an existing serum that you have with peptides in it. Um, the only risk is that you could destabilize the base a little bit, um, but that's okay for home use, that, that's not a problem at all. Um, but when I spoke to the cosmetic chemist, she said that adding it to a hyaluronic acid base um, should keep the, the base all stable and um, this has already got ingredients that will help push um, this product deeper into your skin, which is where we want it to work. So now I'm going to ask my lab assistant for some assistance here. So what we're going to do is, because we want it at a strength of about 2%, we actually want 0.6 of a mil in a 30 mil bottle. So, that, so um, if you don't have an eyedropper, which is what we're going to be using today, um, it's approximately an eighth of a teaspoon. So that's the way, I reckon that's about it. And then we just add it in there. So this is how easy it is to really supercharge your skincare, spill that whole thing. Okay, so now we'll um, put the lid on and give this a shake. Do you want to give this a shake to give it a good, good um, stirring? <laughs> and that's pretty much how easy it is to add a fantastic peptide to your own hyaluronic acid serum. And now every time you use this morning and night, it's got a really good anti-aging ingredient in it. And like I said, this bottle is going to last you so long um, and it's going to be heaps more cost effective in the long run for you. So um, we're going to try it now. Okay, so now we're going to use this beautiful product that we've made on our skin to see what it feels like. Okay, and we'll just rub it on. It feels really nice. It's no stinging whatsoever. It feels nice. so good to take a little bit of power back and to basically make up some, some of your own formulations for way less money and to then use these fantastic products for yourself at home. And um, it's just really exciting and um, puts you in control basically. Uh, so don't forget to um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, see ya. Bye.